We're going to build an emotion recognition smartphone app using Thunkable. Let's take a look at what we're building. Our app allows the user to take a selfie and then uses a Microsoft API and artificial intelligence to guess the emotion of the person in the picture. I'm angry. Let's start by going to Thunkable. Log on using a Google account. And let's create a new app. We're going to call it Express Yourself. Upper camel case, no spaces. It's time to design our app. First, let's change the app name to include a space. Let's change the background color to default. And the title screen, we want to say Express Yourself. On to the layout. We're going to take a vertical arrangement and place it in our app, renaming it to Vertical Top. Align Vertical Center. Give it the background color of white. 15% height and fill parent for width. Let's grab another one. Another vertical arrangement, placing it below, renaming vertical middle. Once again, align vertical center. In this case, the background color is black. The height, 50%, and width fill parent, and press OK. One more vertical arrangement. Place it at the bottom, rename it vertical bottom. Align vertically, center, background color, indigo, the height, 35%, and width, fill parent, press OK. Awesome. Let's go to the user interface. We're going to be adding a button that allows someone to take a selfie. Let's rename that button. Button, take, picture. Press OK. Make sure it's in the vertical top arrangement. Background color is going to be red. We're going to make this bold, change the font size to 20. Our typeface should be Roboto Regular. Width 50%. Press OK. Let's make it a rectangular shape and let's change the button's text to Take Picture. And let's change the text color to white. Excellent. Now we're going to grab an image component and put it in the vertical middle arrangement. Rename. Image result. This is where the picture we take will be presented. Let's make sure it scales the picture to fit. Now let's grab a label. This is where our emotion result will be. Rename it. Label likely emotion. Press OK. Let's bold it. Give it a font size of 24. Let's make it Roboto thin. And let's change the label. Use artificial intelligence to determine your mood. And let's center align the text and change the text color to white. Awesome. Now we've got a couple non-visible components we need to add. Go down to Artificial Intelligence and grab the Microsoft Emotion Recognizer onto the phone. You'll see it's listed under Non-Visible Components. Now let's go to the media. We need our camera. Drag that to the stage as well. You should see it listed below. And save your app. It's time to code our blocks. Click on Blocks. Find button take picture. When someone clicks our take picture button, we want the camera to take a picture. So find the camera component and drag its take picture action onto the stage. Let's go back to our camera. After a picture is taken, we've got a couple things to do. Drag the after picture event onto the stage. First thing we want to do is call our API. So go to Microsoft Emotion Recognizer and drag the post image action onto the stage. 
we're going to post the image the camera just took. So drag get image to path. Then we need to update the app with the image. Find image result, and we're going to set its picture to the image just taken using get image. Last but not least, we need to get our return from the API. Drag the got response event onto the stage. We're going to update our likely emotion label with what came back from the API. So choose set label likely emotion text, grab an uppercase block, and let's set the label at the bottom of the app to the most likely emotion returned from the API. Save your app. It's time to test. Make sure your security settings allow you to install your app. After you've exported the APK and transferred it to your class website, you can install it on the smartphone device. Open the app, confirm the prompts, and test it thoroughly. It should accurately guess your emotion.